Welcome back to the Milton Price Report update video uh, presented by the Charlton Advantage real estate team with Royal LePage. And my name is Chuck Charlton. And, and so the reason we've gone away from doing some of these videos, we were out in the field. We've also done screen captures like this, but I wanted to give you a bit of an update of what's going on and just kind of what's happened this year. I mean, uh, there's, there's a lot of things that have happened. We call past clients all the time and they say, wow, I can't believe my home is worth that. And, and the, the block for them sometimes is, okay, now it's worth that much. Now all the other homes are worth more. Where am I going to move to? So real estate is still a game of does your house fit your needs and does it fit your budget? And I think sometimes in an up market, people forget that. So anyway, the average Milton home has gone up uh, $220 a day in 2016. We just did the stats on on uh, on values. So that's huge. That means over, well, it's about $1,500 a week that these homes have been going up. And uh, so anyway, here's the thing. I, I looked at the year to date, 2189 is the number of sales that have happened in Milton in 2016. Last year it was within, it was almost the same number. It's maybe a, a, just 50 less or something like that. But the new listings were almost 3,000. This year were 2,700. So what that means is that 10% more of the homes that are listed are selling this year. So it means you have a 10% higher likelihood of selling. And then also when you have that supply demand issue, when there's 10% less homes on the market, then the sales to new listings tends to go up. The, the sale price compared to the list price goes up. And so that's been the overall uh, biggest factor. We can see days on market. Uh, Sharon's my editor. Sharon, if you just zoom in on this graph, this to me, is the the biggest the newspapers will tell you different stories but this to me is the biggest factor about how hot a market is, is what are the average days on market for the ones that are selling and so we have 2014 2015 and 2016 you can see even october it went down uh, we'll get the november stats probably uh in early december Next graph talks about uh, active listings compared to sales. And in previous years, let, let me, it's a little bit of a tough one to read, but once you get it, it makes a lot of sense. So the active listings in 2015 was this green right here. So that's your supply. And what they do is they look at the middle of the month. They say how many listings are for sale on the 15th of the month. Then what they do is they look at the sales for the entire month. And that gives you a bit of an idea of the absorption rates. So previous years, it's always been active has been here and the sales have been here, which means there's unsold carryover inventory, which eventually expires, cancels, and otherwise doesn't sell. And that still happens this year. You can see there's been uh, 20, almost 2,200 sales, but 2,700 listings. So 500 whatever listings didn't end up selling. So it's not a guarantee in Milton that you're going to sell. I meet with a lot of sellers that have this hubris about, uh, well, for sure my home is going to sell. And it's not always a matter of if it sells in this market, but what does it sell for? And it's not even good enough to say it sold for 40 or 50,000 over asking because it could have been 40 or 50,000 underpriced. What matters is how it performed compared to the rest of the homes that are similar to that one. So here's what's happened this year, which has been fascinating. I've never seen it before. The active listings have been down here. So look at the dramatic difference in choice that a buyer would have in the marketplace. And why December was so good last year was because we really didn't have anything to choose from. So buyers were, the buyers that needed to buy really found some, some good opportunities. Sellers found some good opportunities and sometimes sold very quick. But here's the thing, active supply 2016, look at the sales. They've actually gone higher than the actives. That's never, ever happened in this graph before in probably 10 years we've been tracking it. So the next one is the average sale price. We like to show that Milton, um, you know, how it performs compared to the GTA overall, because when you have 2000 sales, sometimes you can find one or two you know, a $5 million listing can really change the whole dynamic of the pricing structure. But when you look at, 
you know, 100,000 sales across the GTA, you, you tend to see how the pattern uh, performs in comparison. So Milton 2015, Milton 2016, what I look at here is mostly differences between months. And we've actually been pretty good, aside from this little blip right here, uh, we have been pretty consistent with even what's happened in Toronto. Now, the other thing is the best time to list a home is not always where the average price is the highest because remember, some of those larger homes can sell and they can skew the graph too. And that's usually what happens. Most of the big country homes sell in this time. Uh, a lot of the bigger family-sized homes tend to sell through the school year, whereas homes that are more appealing to first-time buyers, downsizers, they tend to have pretty consistent demand throughout the year. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold. So the average price, and I have the exact numbers, but we were floating at probably around the five, let's say 540 mark last year. And so now we're floating closer to the 650 mark. So uh, it is very possible that if your home is an average home in Milton, that it's probably gone up $100,000 uh, in the last 12 months. So the last thing I'll mention, if you want to go and check out what's going on in the market, if you go to MiltonDailyHomes.com, there's offers at the top or on the side, depending on which device you're looking at. You can get new listings by email. You can watch the episodes. Uh, if you're thinking about selling your home, then you may want to take us up on one of these three things, which is requesting a pinpoint price analysis, a room by room review, or you can even let us know about your home and we can expose it to what we call the silent market, which is we have on our mailing list is probably close to 17,000 people that get our information every month or in some cases every day or every week. And so we have access to a lot of people and we have sold homes just by putting a little message out there too. So uh, if that's interesting for you, just call us at 905-693-9346 or you can email me chuck at charltonadvantage.com and I'll do whatever I can to help. So have a super month and uh, I'm not sure when the next one's going to come out, but I wanted to add some extra information in addition to some of the things we've been providing. Have a great day.